Hey there and thank you for checking out this video from Orange Security. We make security cameras simple. Located here in beautiful southwest Florida, we serve the whole of the United States of America. Let's take a look at our Vandal Dome cameras. There is only the one lens option and that is our very popular 2.8 to 12mm verifocal lens. This will give you identification at up to about 50 feet from the camera. The connections for both power and video are industry standard. Video is BNC. The default output option is HD, but this can be changed if needed. Unlike other cameras, there is no joystick in the cable. We will come onto this later on in the video. Included is also a video takeoff lead that connects inside the dome allowing for easy setup. There is also one large tamper resistant hex key and one small traditional hex key. Turning the camera over you will see the four mounting holes. We just need to access these. There are three ways in which the cable can be run for this camera. The first is straight through the mounting surface giving fully concealed wiring. The second is through a cutout in the camera body allowing the cat wires to run along the mounting surface. The third is through the surface mounted conduit which can screw directly into the camera body. You need to remove the cap first. Take the small hex key and remove the grub screw located on the side of the camera base. This will allow the main camera body to rotate on the base and come away. You now have access to the bracket in which connections can be made. You also now can easily mount the base and then refit the camera. Let's now look at adjusting the direction the camera points. Take the tamper-proof hex key and loosen the three tamper-proof bolts that hold the vandal-resistant dome in place. Be careful when removing the dome, you don't want to damage the tether. To adjust the zoom and focus of the camera, Gently pull the IR board away from the lens. You now have access to the zoom and focus adjusters. Loosen these adjusters off until they rotate around the lens. Don't remove them completely. Rotate the adjusters around the lens to set the right zoom and focus settings until you get your perfect image. When you are happy, just tighten up the adjusters and you're all set. Refit the IR board, it gently pushes back into position. Tilt the camera up and down and move it left and right until you are happy with the direction the camera is pointing. Using a crosshead screwdriver, tighten up the screws to keep it securely in place. The video takeoff lead fits into this connector. This allows you to use either this short fly lead or the main camera lead along with a test monitor to help you get the perfect zoom, focus and directional settings while setting up the camera. You will see this short takeoff lead has a BNC video connector. The joystick here allows you to access the on-screen display menu for the camera. Here you can make adjustments to settings on the camera. A word of warning, the factory default settings are pretty good and we wouldn't recommend changing them without our advice. The small screw adjuster sets the strength of the IR LEDs. Again, we wouldn't recommend changing it. You don't want to compromise the night vision of the camera. Thank you for watching this video from Orange Security. Don't forget to check out our other videos on our website, orangesecurity.com.